Municipal Airport, Orangeburg, South Carolina. Automated weather observation, 1229er Zulu. Wind 310 at 05. Visibility 10. Sky condition scattered 3,300. Broken 4,300. Overcast 5,000. Temperature 14 Celsius. Dew point 12 Celsius. Altimeter 3016. Remarks. Density altitude minus 100. Contact mile northwest of Evans at 1,100 feet. Maintain 3,000. Turn right heading 110. Back to Columbia from 9 or 7 Niner Mike Mike. We have the weather at Orangeburg requesting the GPS runway 35 Kubab transition.
star barbecue. They passed the grits test. Yeah. I'm sorry to let everybody know if you get good grits, they took the time to do it right, and the rest of the food's going to be pretty good. The airport of Orangeburg, we are at a little bit of a sad point now because Ron Kohler is leaving. And he has been managing this airport for 15 years and helping organize this thing all that time. And we're losing him. Let's give Ron a hand because he has helped us out so much over the years. nominating somebody for the ball. Michael, was that you? Yes, sir. Um, who did you want to nominate? There was one particular airplane. I remember something or other in November. Kept us out there circling a good 20 minutes <laughs> while we waited for him to cancel IFR. Oh, okay. Um, we were passing around cell phone numbers with Columbia Purchase. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Who wants to end the... Uh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, we've all been there. Just pick a spot. That's a pretty good ball. That ball, we've had for, what, two years now? At least. The ball that Gerald used to lovingly carry <laughs> Which Janet still had. It's still in the airplane where he left it. In the bowling bag yeah. that Gerald used to carry, and I know anybody who's been here any number of times has seen Gerald carrying this poor little disintegrating blue and white bowling ball bag. And what was left of a deflated soccer ball. That ball has been with Gerald for 30 years. And that original ball is still in Twin Lakes in that original bag. And that has been through more than one mishap with Gerald in several airplanes. I think he split the Baron with that ball in it. Or um, two. Or two. Um, so that's the tradition behind the ball. It started early. And it's all done in fun. And if you come long enough, you will get a chance to sign it. Do I have a nomination for secretary? We need it. We need it. Do I have a second? <laughs> All right. Everybody in favor of Wendy being the, the secretary, raise your hand. Okay. That looks like it looks like their nomination is not full for secretary. How about uh how, how about vice president? We have a nomination for vice Scott president. Crosby. Who? Scott, Scott Crosby. Crosby. Right Scott Crosby nomination for vice president. Uh, do I have a second? Second. second. Got a second. All right. All those in favor of Scott being our vice president, so great to have you. There you go. Do I have a nomination for president? Stone Truth. Stone Truth. I second that. You can't add and subtract very good, but he's a pretty good one. <laughs> so, you don't have to do that. I'll do that. Nomination now closed for, for uh, president. All those in favor of uh, Stone Truth, president. Well, as Gerald was fond of saying, the president is nothing more than a spokesman for all of you guys. This group belongs to you. Breakfast Club belongs to you. It is here for the sole purpose of promoting friendship, fellowship, aviation, and aviation safety. And Hopefully, I will be able to stand beside where he used to. His shoes will never be filled. Gerald was 
president of this organization and spokesman for 30 plus 38 years. 38 years. Congratulations to Stoney on picking up the helm as president of the Breakfast Club. Yeah. And also to Scott for vice president. They have been taking the helm and, and, and shifting off along with Roger Black, Black for like the last three years since Dad got sick and subsequently passed away. And they've been taking care of everything. And my father loved aviation and he loved to promote aviation in South Carolina for the last 45, 50 years of his life. Um, and the Breakfast Club was his baby. He looked forward to it every two weeks, flying all over the state. He never used a GPS. He doesn't even know what that's for. He barely had a map. Most of the time he's flying by the roads or something like that. And congratulations on another uh, secretary, Wendy. He loved your camaraderie working with you on the schedules and getting everything done as well. But um, congratulations and I look forward to seeing y'all again soon. We look forward to you being here okay. soon. Okay. We're going to bring our hands up. We're going to bring our hands up. I'm, 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 I'm going to make it hot. Seven. Second number is zero. Third number is nine. All right, we're still in business. Last number is three. Nine oh three.